All right, let's have a look at the alternating oxygen manifold system that we use within the respiratory therapy lab. As we've discussed during the lectures, there is a service side as well as a reserve side to the oxygen manifold. Both of these sides have the cylinders turned on. All of the cylinders on each side, service side and reserve side, are connected together via flexible copper pipes. These are sometimes called pigtails just because that's what they look like. Here is a close-up of where the pigtail connection connects to the T cylinder. The pigtail connections all connect to a common pipe called a header. This allows all of the cylinders to empty at the same time. The header connects to a pressure reducing valve where the cylinder pressure is reduced to a regulated set working pressure. On the service side, this regulated pressure is 55 PSIG, and on the reserve side, this pressure is 50 PSIG. The gas leaves the PRV and goes to a low pressure shutoff valve. This valve, when closed, blocks all gas flow out to the piping system in the lab. If you open it up, it opens up gas flow to the piping system in the lab. The bleed valve that you see here is what is used to bleed off or vent off pressure from the pipeline system once you are shutting the system down. Just above that and not labeled is the pressure relief valve. This is set to 1.5 times the working pressure inside the line, so it's set to approximately 75 PSIG to vent off extra pressure if the pressure rose too high. All of the pieces of equipment on the service side that I just described also occur on the reserve side. The only difference is the reserve side is set at a lower working pressure. 50 PSIG on the reserve side, 55 PSIG on the service side. I'm going to turn on the service side of the manifold system by opening up all of the cylinders on that side. I'm going to turn each of the cylinder valves closed by a half turn just to prevent any valves from sticking. When I open the high pressure shutoff valve leading to the PRV, notice the cylinder pressure is seen on the high pressure gauge on the PRV. Then I will adjust the PRV to provide the working service pressure for the pipeline. In this case, it will be 55 PSIG on the service side. At this point I will have opened the cylinders on the reserve side as well and now I will need to adjust the reserve pressure reducing valve to a pressure of 50 PSIG. So now we have the service side PRV set at 55 PSIG and the reserve side PRV set at 50 PSIG. What we need to do now is open the service side low pressure shutoff valve to send the service side pressure to the pipeline system.
Once the gas flow starts slowing down, I will open up the reserve side. I wait till this starts to slow down so that we avoid wasting gas from the reserve side. When you shut down the manifold system, you need to shut off the low pressure shutoff valves on the service and reserve sides, like I'm doing here. And then you need to shut off all of the cylinders on both sides. I have now shut off the cylinders on both sides. This has trapped pressure between the low pressure shutoff valve and the cylinders. So I need to open the bleed valves to release that pressure. Once you have released the pressure through the bleed valves, then you can release the tension on the PRV springs. You just go until they're loose, otherwise the handles will fall on the floor. Once you've done that, you can close the high pressure shutoff valves on both sides of the manifold system. And that's all there is to it. If you forget these instructions, well, these instructions are also found in the manifold room on the wall just above the service side.